Hello PUPN students, this video is the continuation of our lesson for session 4 that is all about exponential growth and decay function. Okay, so in this lesson we need to have our calculator. Okay, so dalawa yung calculator ko dito na ginagamit. Okay, tignan nyo na lang kung ano yung model. So sana ganyan din ang calculator ninyo sa bahay. Then kung halimbawa may tanong kayo, halimbawa ibang inyong model na calculator, i-PM nyo na lang ako na sa gayon ay ma-assist ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang mga function keys na nandoon. Okay? So, gusto ko rin humingi ng paumanin sa inyo kung bakit hindi ganun kadami ang examples na ginagawa ko dito sa video ko kasi ay napakalimitado lang ng ating oras. But don't you worry, this video is very close uh, doon sa quiz na inihanda ko para sa inyo. Okay? Same format siya, pero um, parang ganun na ganun din yung mga tanong. Okay? This is for you to help to answer the quiz number 3. Okay? Kaya pagpasensya nyo na kung kaunti lang talaga yung mga examples na ibinibigay ko sa inyo, pero straight to the point naman ang aking mga pagpapaliwana. Okay? So let's proceed now. So unahin natin yung exponential growth. In 2010, there were 80 rabbits in Manila Zoo. Okay? So, may mga hayop daw. Ayan. The table below shows the number. Okay? In symbol A of T of rabbits after T years. Okay? So, this is the table showing the number of rabbits from 2010 to 2013. So, Let's answer the problem, letter A. Find the relative rate of increase. Okay? So, when we say relative rate of increase, we need to determine in the formula, okay, ito yung solution natin, A is equal to, A sub 0 is equal to, ah, uh, sorry, A sub, uh, A of T is equal to, A sub 0, E raised to KT. Okay, for us to, de to determine the relative rate of uh, growth for this exponential function problem, we need to choose the pair of t and a of t in the given table. Okay, so since the initial amount in 2010 is 80 rabbits, okay, there are 80 rabbits in 2010, so ibig sabihin, ang ating a sub 0 ay ano? 80, siya yung initial amount or value. Okay? And in 2011, after one year, there are 87 rabbits. Nadagdagan na siya. So, 2012, 95, 2013, 104. So, pipili tayo ng isa lang na pares ng T and A of T. Okay? So, if we choose 2011, okay, I, adv I highly advise to choose a pair of T or and A of T na very close sa ating initial value. Okay? So, una, ang kunin natin ay yung 2011 tsaka yung 87. So, ibig sabihin, ano ang value ng ating T? Tama, that is 1. Okay? Because after 1 year of 2010, anong taon na yun? 2011, kaya 1. Okay? Ano yung A of T natin kapag year 2011 or 1? So that is 87. Then, we will substitute this pair to the given formula. Okay? A sub T is equal to 87 is equal to our initial val value A sub 0 is 80. Then, E is equal to 2.718. Okay? So, mamaya ituturo ko sa inyo ang tamang uh, sequence na pagpipindot dun sa mga function key sa inyong calculator. Tapos yung key natin, ito yung ating kailangang maham, malaman. Okay? Yung ating relative rate of increase, variable K. Okay? Tapos yung key natin ay ano? 1. Okay? Then, what's next? So, 87. So, we will divide both sides of the equation by 80. 
Okay? 80. Then 80. Okay? So, then, we need to get the, ano, the logarithm of both sides. So, get the natural logarithm. Ito yung simbolo niya. Yung, ang basa nyo sa calculator nyo ay uh, parang L tsaka N na magkadikit. Ito yun, yung natural logarithm. Get the, logari the natural logarithm of both sides. So, that is logarithm of 87 over 80 is equal to so, balik na lang natin uli siya sa iha. Okay? So, logarithm of cancel na to. Logarithm of e, uh, natural logarithm para, sorry. So, natural logarithm of e raised to k. K na lang siya kasi k times 1 is k. ba? Okay. So, simplify this logarithm. We have natural logarithm of 87 minus natural logarithm of 80 is equal to k. Okay. K na lang siya. Okay. So, i-recall nyo yung inyong uh, mathematics or general mathematics nung kayo ay senior high school, yung mga logarithmic function. So, ito yung mga resulta niyan. Ito yung properties ng uh, quotient property ng natural logarithm. Nagsasubtract tayo. Okay? So, I don't want to emphasize it anymore. Okay? So, simplify this. We have natural logarithm of 87 minus natural logarithm of 80. So, what's the answer? So, the value of k is equal to 0 0.084. So, we need to round off our answers into nearest thousands. Okay, so dito sa calculator po, ang lumabas ay 0 0.08388. So, ibig sabihin, pag nirround off nyo siya into nearest thousands, okay, siya ay 0 0.084. Okay, so ito yung ating relative rate of growth. Okay, so what's next? Buray na natin to. Okay. So letter B. Ano sabi sa letter B? Write the equation for the number of rabbit A of T. So napakadali lang. So A of T, ang ating equation, is equal to A sub 0 E Ano, papalitan natin ng a sub 0 ng ano? 80. 80 e raised to k. Ano yung k natin? 0 0.083 tapos ay 4 pala, 4 t. Ayan. 0 0.084 t ang ating exponential growth function for the number of rabbits. Okay? So letter C find the estimated number of rabbits in 2018. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan daw nating malaman kung ilan ang estimated number of rabbits in 2018. So, ibig sabihin, ang t natin ay, ano, so from 2010, okay, up to 2018, ano ang magiging t natin? So, that is 8 years, or 8. So, we were looking for, A sub, uh, A of 8. Ayan. To the formula. Papalitan natin ang T ng 8. Solution. O, di ba napakadali lang? So, we have A of 8 is equal to 80 E raised to 0 0.084 times 8. In my calculator, ang una ko munang pipindutin, pakinggan nyo itong mabuti at pwede nyo itong i-replay para ma-recall nyo. Ang una yung pipindutin, ang una kong pipindutin ay yung 0 0.084 okay, times 8. Okay, kasi ganito yung model na calculator ko, ito yung sequence niya. Kailangan ko munang pindutin yung 
mga exponents. Okay? So, 0.084 times A is equal to 0.672. Okay, huwag mong babaguhin. Then, pindutin mo ang shift. Then, yung LN o yung natural logarithms. Ayan. Then, equals. Yan yung nalabas, hindi pa yun yung final answer. Then, times. Okay, after kung in-equals, ano sumunod? Times the value Okay, 80, no? 80 times 80. So, the answer is 156.65. 156.65. Pero dahil kailangan natin ng whole number, ina-round off natin siya into whole number, walang decimal. Okay? So, that is 157 rabbits. Okay? O, just ano na lang, huwag na natin ilagay yung rabbits. Okay, so the answer is 157. Okay, so you can replay this video for you to understand. And letter D, okay, letter D, how many years would it take for the number of rabbits to be doubled? Okay, ilang years daw ang kailangan bunuin para daw dumoble ang bilang ng mga rabbits? So, ibig sabihin, from original amount na 80, magiging ano siya? 160. Okay? So, letter D. Therefore, our A sub T is equal to 2 times 100, uh, times 80 is equal to 160. So, we were looking for find T. Okay, the number of years would it take for the population of rabbits to be doubled? Okay, so in doing this, we need to substitute the given to the exponential growth function. That is, a of t is equal to a sub zero e raised to k t. Ang a of t natin ay 160. Is equal to a sub zero the initial amount is eighty. E then yung kain natin yung ating relative ah relative rate of increase is zero point zero eighty four t. Okay, hindi pa natin alam yun t yun yung ahanapin natin. Okay, how we were going to simplify this one? So divide both sides of the equation by eighty. Okay, what happened? Cancel. Okay, ano may iwanan? 160 divided by 80 is 2. 2 is equal to e 0.084t. Then getting the natural logarithm of both sides, we have what? Natural logarithm of 2 is equal to 0.084t. Okay? So then, what's next? Ito yung lalabas sa mga wala na yung E. Okay? So I don't want to explain it anymore because it was discussed in your senior high school years. You can recall it. Okay? So, in-apply dyan yung properties of natural logarithm. So, ln of t is equal to 0.084t. So that is how we were going to calculate it by using our calculator. So, Just press natural logarithm o yung L of N, then 2. Okay, ito yung lalabas. Then, i-divide mo siya both sides by 0.084. 0.084. cell. Ano yung magiginti natin? The number of years should be rounded up into whole number. Ha? Okay, so divided by 0. 0.084 So the answer is 8.25 Okay, gusto ko na ito ay rounded up into whole number because this is just an approximation or estimation lamang Okay, so 8.25 pag niround up natin is just 8 Okay So It takes 8 years for the number of population of rabbits to be doubled Okay 
So for the next video, we will discuss the example of exponential decay. Just wait for it.